Well, howdy, 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 and welcome back to the latest edition of the Withlacoochee River Report. It's been a while since I've made this report, and so I can't really call it a weekly report anymore, can I? Haven't been able to do much on the railroad because I've been pretty busy at work, naturally. You might, you might figure the, the area in the store which I handle, of course, is uh, water, juice, soda, dog food, the stuff that actually sells during the summertime and seems to pick up around Christmas time. So, naturally, I'm getting uh, busier and busier. I did manage to uh, pick up uh, or get a set of side rods for my friend at uh, Dan Bush at Yardbird Classic Trains for my H9 consolidation. And as a result, you can see that uh, she's running now. There's no binds. She's beginning to break in. I've had her running for a little bit now. Nice to finally have uh, uh, an engine from one of my favorite roads, which is the Pennsylvania Railroad, operating now. Also, as you can see, the uh, 462 project is nearing completion. I've got to add just a few more ounces of weight into the boiler and, and get a little bit more weight onto those drivers. And uh, she she'll already pull a train up the hill now that I've added so you know I've added a, probably about six ounces to it. I need to add about another two or three ounces, and she ought to be able to pull a respectable passenger train. May first is quickly approaching, and as May first approaches, that means that June first is just a month away, and that's when the steam engines all go into the house for routine maintenance you know, through the summer months, and uh, you know, I, I feel that the uh, heat and humidity that that uh, comes up out here would not be very good for my steam engines. It probably isn't good for my diesels either. However, the diesels are a little bit easier to maintain. even through the summer months. That doesn't mean the steam engines won't get run, they'll just mostly get run over at Dana's on the on the West Hernando Central where you know it's more of a con uh, temperature controlled environment. Yep, that, that old Bowser consolidation, that H9 has began to run a little bit better now, isn't it? It's quieting up a little bit. Should have heard how noisy it was the first time I got it to crank over. The original side rods that came with it, uh, the uh, holes were not set right, so there was a hard bind on the locomotive when you tried to uh, wheel it. The history behind these old engines, and I do mean just old. like the old Lady Consolidation was an old Varney product, this baby here is an old Penline product. And Bowser, that's that's how they picked up many of their engines over the years, as they uh, picked up other companies. And this is one of the older ones. It it, it doesn't have a lot of the uh, separately applied details like like the H9 of today does. Give her a little bit of run time, and I'm letting y'all enjoy that with me. That is a handsome little locomotive, isn't it? I haven't completed it yet. I don't have the handrails on it or anything. 
uh, that'll be the next order of business. I just get to work on these things when I can. I'm just happy she's a working and took a little uh, tweaking to get it to work properly. get the paintwork finished on it and everything. Another thing I intend to do here is on the low line here I'm going to uh, realign this track make a nice little broader curve coming down. I'll get the bridge in over here going over this uh, the Withlacoochee River here that I'm standing in and then uh, you know get I, I've got some fresh uh, track supplies we'll get that done before too long probably I, I've got a vacation coming up so Hopefully I'll be able to get back to doing these reports on a regular basis again and actually stuff will be getting done. As you can hear, my dogs are talking. They can't be hungry. I just fed them a little while ago. They only ate half an alligator between the two of them. Good grief. Anyway, until next time, I want to wish you all some happy railroading. It's, like I said, summer is coming, bugs are flying around, and it's time to go in the house. <laughs>